Good morning. It's Friday, October 7th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Guilty, Part 3, and our scripture is Psalm, Chapter 32. When I refused to confess my sin, my body wasted away, and I groaned all day long. Day and night, your hand of discipline was heavy on me. My strength evaporated like water in the summer heat. And then 1 John chapter 1. If we confess our sins, he who is faithful and just will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So far in this series, in part one, we've looked at how Reuben and his ten brothers were consumed with guilt over selling their youngest brother into slavery, and Peter's well-published guilt over denying the Christ he said he'd die for. Added to those were the contrast of the sociopathic thief on the cross next to Jesus who mocked, and the remorseful penitent on the other side who asked Jesus to remember him when Jesus entered his kingdom. We said with Isaiah that nobody is righteous. We've all fallen short with our sins. We feel guilty because we are guilty. In part two, we looked at how false it is to develop our ways of dealing with guilt, denial or blaming others for what was clearly our choice. The little boy in his white Sunday suit who was told to stay clean chased the family pet beagle buster with a can of green paint and wound up caught, busted, paintbrush in hand. Peter was caught in his betrayal. King David was nailed by a prophet's bold accusation. Guilt consumes us from the inside out and there's no such thing as a secret sin. There's no wondering about where the old saying comes from, no peace for the wicked. Friend, if you're eaten up with guilt over something and you've not confessed it to God, you'll never feel forgiven because you aren't forgiven. So, what to do? Here are a few simple but vital steps to take. Number one, make certain you confess your sin. Don't rationalize or hide the evidence or shift blame. God already knows you're a sinner. Just confess. Admit it to him and be forgiven. Number two, be humble. Learn from past mistakes. You can't do anything about what happened yesterday, but God rejoices in your confession and loves to forgive and rebuild you. Thirdly, pray for growth to use your past for the kingdom's good. Stand ready to help others in the area you've been blessed by forgiveness. And then fourthly, spend time thanking God for his blessings. This is why we have the Lord's table. Come, ye forgiven and beloved sinners, and rejoice. For you today, guilt was never God's intended inner profile for his human children. That's why he came to us in a manger innocent, ready to die for us, so we can be forgiven, cleansed, washed whiter than snow, and restored to fellowship with our Creator. Don't miss that. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day. 